Hello and welcome to this early access mod first look as today we are privileged enough to have a look at the American Shed Pack by American Modern Inc. Nudge nudge wink wink if you know you know let's jump in and have a little look at these beautiful sheds. So in the American Shed Pack by American Modern Inc we get the four sheds. We have the American Barn, we have the small American Pole Barn, we've got the open air shed and the small pole barn varying costs but each shed has a daily upkeep of 100 euros dollars or pounds depends on how you're playing so uh, let's drop one in 160 grand and this is the american barn we'll give it a little flip round and all four of these are customizable in color so if you press f jump over here we can pick a color we'll go american barn red and we can place that down so then we'll have a look at our next expensive one. We'll go with a small, the small. We'll go with a small pole barn. Give that a little twist so our doors are all facing the same way. And again, if we hit F, we can jump over here. It keeps trying to scroll every time I roll back over here. And we'll go blue for a change, and we'll drop that one down there. Next up, we'll have a look at the small American pole barn grab that in this one we'll leave in the uh, standard green we'll drop that down and then last but not least we'll go for the beautiful open air shed and this one we'll see if we can get a custom color without shooting across the map and we'll just go for the uh, the off white that looks nice and we'll just drop that there so let's go in and have a closer look some of you will recognize these beautiful sheds by american modern inc they've been completely reskinned reshaded rebuilt for fs25 they've been back through blender Got some lovely blemishes on the textures as well to show wear and weathering. Really nice. Give it along the bottom of the, bottom of the sheds, bottom of the doors, and around this door in particular as well. I like that it's got this wear and this dirt and slightly rusty handle there. So as we come in, some of you will recognise this door as well. Absolutely love this door. First time I saw it, I still love it now. A little bit of a noisy one. And then once we're inside, we hit R. Anywhere with inside, we can turn our lights on. Got this beautiful uh, chipboard bottom extra insulation at the bottom here we call it chipboard in the uk i don't know what you call it across the pond obviously we've got the inside of the uh, corrugated aluminum aluminium beautiful beam work look at the detail in the wood absolutely gorgeous lovely chipboard top got skylights coming through absolutely stunning plenty of space in here fit a couple of harvesters in here your cedars your planters your big john deers your quad tracks, all sorts fit in there. Absolutely lovely. Isn't that stunning? Look at that beam work. I'm always impressed. Always impressed. Then for our next shared up blue one. Got a little uh, decor with this one. Got a wheelbarrow around the side. A couple of bins. A couple of skips on here. And if we just come to the front, we should have a sliding door. I can uh, find my trigger. There we go. Slide door on its side. There we are. Absolutely gorgeous work again on the inside. Different sort of wood this time as well. It's a little bit lighter, more of a. Is it more of a pine? New wood textures. Absolutely gorgeous. Again with the chipboard bottom. And it's divvied up a little bit different as well on the inside with the beams. Beams on the roof. I think we can turn our lights on from anywhere, which is nice. You also have there, you can, you know, play it from the uh, from the light box. Again, absolutely gorgeous. Plenty of room, nice big doors. You can get your machines in and out. Something that I have had a bit of grief with on some of the base game sheds is the ability to get vehicles in and out of some of the doors. Not an issue with this. Look at that. Absolutely massive. Absolutely stunning. Uh, got another one here. This is the, I believe this is called the small... Um, pole shed can't remember which order we placed them but again we got a little bit of dead core around the side the wheelbarrow again a couple more bins doors around the front on this side and again that you can see the weathering and the wearing effect on the side of this one absolutely beautiful really nice rather than everything just coming in like shiny new all the time it's good to have a little bit of weather and wear you can see it on here as well oh, that's cool to me that looks cool anyway each to their own, but I love it. Another sliding door from uh, external. 
doubles on this one. And again, we have the uh, the other door as well. This one is only uh, openable from within. If I can find my trigger again. Oh, there it was. And then on this side. There we are. Actually, I don't think it's from on the inside. You've got a handle on the outside, which probably would have made it easier. I lied. I do apologise. But again, beautiful beam work. And this one with the red cable, you do have to come over and uh, turn your light on. Again, absolutely beautiful. Plenty of room. The work and detail in here is astounding. American Modern Ink. Take a bow. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. St stunning. I'm, I'm honestly, a little bit lost for words, as you can tell. Let's keep going quiet. Lost for words. Absolutely brilliant. Now, I did get a screenshot sent to me of this afterwards of an illumination around the outside of this, and I'll probably drop that in uh, as a screenshot afterwards because I don't think it's actually part of the, the build that I've been sent. But I'll drop a screenshot of this at night in the dark with the illumination around it. It looks absolutely stunning. I'll stick it in now. There it is. Isn't that good? Doesn't that look so good? So, on to our vinyl one. Again, some of you will recognise this one. The open air barn. Beautiful shed, this one. Always like this one. As we come in, we've got the roller doors this time instead of the sliding doors. I do like the roller doors at both ends. Originally, when this was designed, it was uh, going to be purposed for a carved barn, but that wasn't... Um, eventually used for that so it's just always been an open air storage barn it's absolutely beautiful again with the lights and it does have the slanted open air roof as well which is brilliant lets the hot air rise and leave out of it you don't get mold in here it's absolutely stunning lovely netting work lovely beam we're going to net in grating netting wood cement beams it's just Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love the roller as well. No gaps. We get a lot of um, roller doors. Unfortunately, they often have gaps in them. None here. Absolutely beautiful. I'm looking forward to finding some use for these. They're really nice. Hopefully, you guys are too. So, uh, massive thanks to American Modern Farm and Nice Nudge Wink Wink. For sending me these let me have a little look at them let me have a little play around with them hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have give the video a big fat thumbs up down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification and find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day hopefully i'll see you again soon bye bye